story to tell. In the history of aviation industry, Short Brothers is known as the first company in the world to make production aeroplanes. Founded in 1908 in London, the Short Brothers was especially known for its flying boat designs manufactured into the 1950s. The company's products continue to operate to this day despite being sold to Bombardier in 1989. During the 1970s, Short developed the Short 330 and later the Short 360, a larger version of the Short 330. They were small, 30 to 39 person sized turboprop transport aircraft, relatively cheap, and had low maintenance costs at the time they were introduced to 1976. Americans pay special attention to its good short takeoff and landing characteristics, which allow it to operate from shorter airfields than other aircraft of this class. In March 1984, Short received its first $165 million order for 18 production vehicles and serviced them for 10 years. They also granted an option for 48 aircraft worth almost $500 million. The production aircraft were to be supplied to the U.S. Air Force under the designation C-23A Sherpa. The box-ship aircraft described by many as a workhorse According to Major Matthew Moore, Chief of Future Operations with the Operational Support Airlift Agency, or OSAA, the C-23 can operate where a C-130 cannot land, while a CH-47 is too expensive to operate for a light load. A C-23 was another tool that was cost-effective in homeland defense, disaster preparedness, and the global war on terrorism. The C-23A was designed as a twin-engine turboprop strut-braced high-wing aircraft with an S-shaped tail assembly. The aircraft was built on the basis of a fuselage with a length of 17.7 meters with a square cross-section and characteristic nose and tail contours. A straight wing with a span of 22.76 meters was used with developed mechanization, which simplifies takeoff and landing. The airframe was mainly made of aluminum with separate steel parts. As a freighter, Sherpa was fitted with a full-width rear cargo door. Inside the fuselage, it was a cabin with 1.98 meters wide, 1.98 meters high, and 8.84 meters long. It offers a cargo volume of 34.83 square meters, with a cargo capacity of 3.6 tons. An empty C-23 military vehicle weighed 6.5 tons, and the maximum takeoff weight reached 10.4 tons. Landing on any runway with a mass of no more than 10.25 tons was allowed. Short C-23 Sherpa is equipped in the center section of Chu Brad and Guinea Canada PT6A45R turboprop engines with a capacity of 1200 horsepower each. 
the models were equipped with Hotshot 5 blade variable pitch propellers with a diameter of 2.82 meters. Sherpa has a cruise speed of 350 km per hour, a maximum range of 1,239 km, with a payload of 2.2 tons. The aircraft was operated by two pilots. The third crew member was responsible for handling cargo. C-23As delivered from the U.S. Air Force to the Army National Guard were redesignated C-23B. In 1990, a contract was planned for 20 newly built C-23A aircraft for the Army and the National Guard, but SHART had already closed their production. Instead, the Army had to buy used SHART 360 aircraft and deeply modernized them. The onboard equipment was updated, also replaced the tail unit and installed a ram. This aircraft was designated C-23B Plus Super Super. The C-23B Super aircraft is a light military transport aircraft designed to operate efficiently even under the most arduous conditions in a wide range of mission configurations. As a troop transport, the Super provides comfortable air-conditioned seating for 30 passengers. During airborne operations, the aircraft accommodates 27 paratroopers. Optionally, they can be outfitted to handle up to 18 stretchers plus two medical attendants. Throughout its operations in the Army Guard, the Sherpa has been used in response to natural disasters and war missions. According to a 2014 United States Army release, the C-23 was used in the American peacekeeping mission in the Sinai Peninsula. The plane was also a valuable asset during Operation Iraqi Freedom, moving cargo to places where C-130s couldn't land, which was particularly valuable in humanitarian relief missions. For the pilots, one of the greatest things about flying the Sherpa was that it was a very stable instrument platform and the crew stations were very comfortable. Ultimately, the United States bought 62 airframes and, aside from losing one in a crash, the planes remained in service until it was retired in 2014 to be replaced by the C-27J Spartan. However, the C-23 has not disappeared yet. Ethiopia, Djibouti and the Philippines have received some of these short-haul airlifters as second-hand assets. My video of short C-23 Super Ancier. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.